Well, look at these numbers. Come on, multiply this. Well, you may be thinking, this is these are such big numbers. How will you multiply this? Well, what you can do is take out your calculators and then multiply and tell me the answer. But can you just think, when calculators didn't exist, how did people multiply that time? Such big numbers? Well, not only such big numbers, maybe, say, only these many. You can say more than five digits. How did people multiply that time? How did people do root extractions, big additions, big subtractions? How? Well, something called logarithm was invented then. Well, logarithm was invented in the early 1500 or 1600, and this actually helped people to convert, or you can say to change big division and multiplication problems into addition and subtraction. Well, this is how those times, like when calculators didn't exist, people used to do such calculations which involved big numbers, like more than five digits. Well, what is this logarithm? How does this help changing multiplication and division problems to addition and subtraction problems? Well, this also helps in doing exponential equations. How? We will tell you. First, learn what is actually a logarithm. Well, logarithms are a way of showing how big a number is in terms of how many times you have to multiply a certain number called the base to get it. Well, do you get it? No. Let me explain. Let us take a big number, say 1 lakh. Right? Now, suppose this is the big number and this needs to be shown how many times you have to mul multiply a certain number to get it. Well, I can see that this can be expressed as a power of 10. Now tell me, how many times you have to multiply 10 with itself to get this big number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, counting zeros is very easy. So actually playing with multiples of 10 is very easy. So 10 to the power 5 is actually 1 lakh. So Logarithms actually tell you how to express such big numbers in this form. So, logarithms are a way of showing how big a number is in terms of how many times you have to multiply a certain number called the base. So, if this is the big number and I am taking the base as 10, so how many times you need to multiply 10 to get this? 5 times? So, this is actually the log of 1 lakh if I take 10 as the base. So this actually helped people to express big numbers in the way of small numbers. Well, logarithms are actually the inverse of exponential function. Do you recall what are exponents? Well, logarithms are just the inverse of exponents. Just like subtraction is the inverse of addition, in the same manner, logarithms are inverse of exponents. Well, as I already said before, math scholars use logarithms to change multiplication and division problems to addition and subtraction problems so that they could do big, big calculations very easily. See, if I say 2 into 2 is 4, you know that. So, log of 4 will be 2 when the base is taken as 2. Just now I told you the example of 1 lakh and 10. So similarly, if I take very small numbers, say 4, you know that 4 can be expressed as a power of 2. So 2 to the power of 2 is actually 4, right? So if I consider log, the log of 4 will be this 2 if the base is 2. You already know what is the base when you have studied exponents. So if the base is 2, then what is the log of 4? It will be this 2 because 2 is multiplied to itself 2 times. Similarly, here I have multiplied 2 to itself 3 times. That is why the log of 8, that is 2 into 2 into 2, that is 4 into 2, 8. So the log of 8 will be 3 because I have multiplied 2 with itself 3 times when the base is 2. What do I mean by this? I am multiplying 2 how many times? 3 times to get 8. So the log of 8 will be 3 because 2 is multiplied with itself 3 times. Similarly. Similarly, if I ask you, what is the log of 32? 
again when the base is 2 tell me what you have to think you have to think how many times you will multiply 2 to itself to get 32 tell me how many times you will multiply well 2 to the power 5 is 32 you know that 2 when multiplied with itself 5 times you get 32 so log of 32 will be 5 when the base is 2 do you get it now if I ask you what is the log of say 125 can you tell me that now I need to tell you the base the base is say 5 now tell me what is the log of 125 if the base is 5 well if the base is 5 then you know that 5 into 5 25 into 5 125 so 5 multiplied with itself 3 times gives you 125 so what will be the log of 125 it will be 5 or it will be 3? Well, it will be 3 when the base is 5. So now you get what is actually log. Now, except in mathematics, logarithms are used in various other places. You have heard about earthquakes? Yes, whenever we heard, hear about earthquakes, we hear that the earthquake was of so and so magnitude, so and so numbers. So actually to estimate the data in logs obtained from magnitude scales for earthquakes, logarithms are used. So you can see logarithms is also used in calculating the measurements for earthquake also. Well next, they also use logarithms to calculate alterations in atmospheric carbon dioxide, population growth and so on. So you can see where logarithms can be used. Geologists prefer applications of logarithms in radioactive decay dating estimation. So you can see logarithms is also used in estimation, sedimentology and to determine grain sizes. You can see how grains are like so small. So determining their size is not so easy. So actually those big big calculations and very very small calculations also use logarithms because logarithms make such calculations very very easy. Well, not only these places, but in physics, statistics, biology, chemistry, many such subjects, in many such subjects, you will see that logarithms are used to solve different kinds of concepts. Well, in recent times, students and math scholars, they actually use logarithms to solve exponential equations. Those big, big equations you see, those have so many exponents, like x to the power 10, x to the power 300, x to the power 415. Like those are very big equations. So even those kind of equations can be solved very, very easily when you use logarithms. So in our next few lectures, you will learn how logarithms make calculations so very easy.